All right, welcome back. Uh, we're still doing our book reviews on uh, facts about Black Americans before 1619, shocking details. And so uh, in order to keep the video short, I'm just bringing out, you know, small points here and there. But there's a lot of information that's packed in, in here. This is part three. So I won't delay you anymore. I'm going to go ahead and, uh, and, and get started. Uh, you know, uh, just as a quick review uh, from the previous videos, we learned that the transatlantic slave trade was, was started with the Spanish and the Portuguese Inquisition. We also learned that the terms Black, Portuguese, Negro, and Jew were referencing in this material the same people. All right. We also learned, learned that, that the Black Moors and the Black Jews were a distinctly different group of people. Then number four, we learned that the Pope and the government agreed to a royal order that only targeted the black Jews or Negroes for the slave trade. It excluded uh, the black Moors. And then we learned that the black Jews and Negroes were taken as slaves to Brazil, Central America, West Indies, Fernandina, Puerto Rico, and Jamaica as slaves and in the New Spain uh, territories. All right. So now uh, today we're going to talk about how the Spanish and Portuguese tried to enslave the native uh, population, but ended up almost completely depopulating every continent. And that's included in this book. So that's why I say all the information in here uh, is very powerful. It's a great summary of, of, of the slave trade. And it packs this information in and it, it doesn't expand on a lot of things, but it's here in the booklet. And so that's why I wanted to make sure that we go over these details. So in this particular book, it's on page 13. Uh, it says, in the beginning of the 16th century, the Spaniards and Portuguese began to transport Negroes for similar labors to the West Indies, uh, you know, and Brazil, by which the Negro trade was rapidly increased. The Spaniards, on their first settling in the West Indies, immediately treated the natives of that part of the globe according to the Pope's instructions. But what was the Pope's instruction? They divided them by families or dis districts among themselves as slaves. So we know that they tried to initially, uh, you know, take the natives as slaves or instruction of the Pope. They divided up the families. Uh, they divided them by families and districts, and they made them slaves. But then it goes on to say that the poor Indians were now forced to die for pearls, to wash gold sand, to work gold and silver mines for their new masters. They were often carried away from their native home. In short, they were so miserably fed and used that in a short time, these countries were entirely depopulated. I'm going to read that again. In short, they were so miserably fed and used that in a short time, these countries were entirely depopulated. They, everywhere they went, they, they almost entirely depopulated all of the countries. So most of the people who are, who are there now uh, are not the original uh, people. So, you know, that's why they continue to bring the Negroes uh, or the uh, black Jews or black Portuguese or Spaniards over. They said in order to supply the loss that they had uh, had endured uh, by depopulating uh, the natives. So keep that in mind. Now, there's another source here that I wanted you to see that, that confirms this. this is in a book uh, called The History of the Reign of Ferdinand, Ferdinand and Isabella the Catholic. So they were the king and queen uh, of Spain during this particular time, right? And so in part of this particular book, this is volume two uh, of, of this particular book, it said that they soon revived the whole system of distribution on so, so terrific a scale that a letter of Columbus written shortly after Isabella's death represents that more than six-sevenths of the whole population of Hispaniola to have melted away under it. So they're admitting in this writing here, uh, in this book, according to a letter from Columbus, who was first hand, he was over, he was over there. Six sevenths of the whole population of Hispaniola, or uh, Hispaniola is modern day Dominican Republic. 
So that's eighty six percent of the original people uh, where it, you know where the Dominican Republic is were wiped out. All right, so we know by record that these things were happening, and and they repopulated it with us. All right, so with that being said, what are the key notes then that we want to uh, look at again? So the transatlantic slave trade was started with the Spanish and Portuguese Inquisition. The terms black, Portuguese, Negro, and Jew were referencing the same people. We know that the black Moors and black Jews were a distinctly different group of people. Uh, we know that the Pope and the government agreed to a royal order that only targeted the black Jews, the Negroes, for the slave trade, that they left the Moors out intentionally. All right, we know that the black Jews and Negroes were taken as slaves to Brazil, Central America, West Indies, Fernandina, Puerto Rico, and Jamaica as slaves and the New Spain territories. And we know that the Spanish and Portuguese tried to enslave the natives, but ended up almost completely depopulating uh, every continent that they landed on. All right, so let's look at this. Uh, check that out. Uh, you know, like I said, you can get the book. You can get the original for uh, for a download for free if you go to uh, payhip.com uh, forward slash prophecy 101, or you can go to etsy.com and, and, and buy the $15 version, which is the audio book. It also includes the free download and, uh, you know, an ebook. Or you can just get the ebook and the free downloads uh, for ten dollars. So it's it's up to you. But make sure you get one of these and share this information with your family. Go back and watch the other videos uh, that we reviewed this, uh, so you can start pulling this information out. Like I said, it's a small document, it's, and it's an easy read. Uh, but at the same time, you know, uh, there's a lot of critical pieces in there because it, it, it's a quick read that we, we might miss, but it's real critical information. So make sure you teach your kids. We owe it to ourselves. We owe it to our families. We owe it uh, to our parents to teach this material. All right. So with that being said, I'll end this uh, presentation there. All right. Shalom. In a shocking 1700s historical document of black Americans, a German professor used the term Negro as a reference to black Jews both in Africa and in Portugal. The author also makes a clear distinction between the black Jews and black Moors. The Moors were largely a distinctly different mixture of black people, most of whom had converted to the Muslim faith. The author candidly points out that the black Jews were specifically targeted for the slave trade, and that the black Moors were intentionally avoided, and that the Negroes also known as black Jews were then sent to the Americas during the slave trade. Get your ebook and audiobook bundle today. Choose from the following three options. Option 1. Get free copies of the original 1700s documents only. Option 2. Get an easy to read edited ebook, plus free copies of the original 1700s document for a low price of $10. Option 3. Get an audiobook for easy listening, plus the easy to read edited ebook and also free copies of the original 1700s document for a low bundle price of $15. Learn the real history they don't want you to know.